So today we are doing a smoky eye that is appropriate for the workplace and a couple handful of tips to bring it into evening time. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for subscribing to this channel and may you enjoy this in your office. Thank you. Bye-bye. Or wherever you work. All right, so we're going to start this off a little differently. Um, I came from work, so I already did my tint and moisturizer, my concealer, my blush, and a little bit of lip, and a little bit of um, eye primer. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a white pencil, go in that inner corner, bring it out. And we're just going to color that inner part with our white pencil. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect, it doesn't have to be exact. But that's going to start as our base. And the reason for it, we're going to layer the products over top of it. And it's going to act kind of like this highlighter from within. And we're just going to take it to right before the iris on both sides, which, you know, not exactly looking straight ahead into the camera, but you get the gist of it. Our next part, we're going to use a facial contouring kit for our smoky eye. And the reason for it is to give, start off with the bronze color, is to give the products you already have just a little bit more oomph and a little bit more things you can do with them. So the more you can do with something, the more likely you are to use it and not be stuck in the rut of grabbing the same eyeshadows or the same lipsticks or the same blushes. And even if you are, you're doing something different with them. So, it's kind of like change your perspective, change your mood. Just taking that color from our crease on down. When people end up a little bit too smoky or too much eyeshadow, they don't do a definite stopping point and that's the issue. You always want to start with your darkest color first. Do that either in your lash line or in your crease. And someone asked me recently what a lash line was and it's literally the line around your lashes around the entire area. The inner um, lash line or the water line that line skin right up against the pupil. So if you have any questions please feel free to ask. I will answer them in these videos. The next is our peach color. And this is the blush color in this kit. You can use whatever one you want. Just don't go too pink or too red. Because it won't look right. Next, I'm taking the blending part of my blush. Blush. Blending it. Into the bronze color already created. But you can see, even blending it, how we still have a little bit of white pencil kind of peeking out, kind of making everything look brighter and a little bit more cheerful. And then we're going to take our lightest color. Bring it from the corner 
over on the lid. Do that underneath our brow bone. You want to make sure to blend brow bone into where the crease is so you don't have that line. It's very obvious and very kind of aging towards your makeup. I know it's a little redundant, but go back into the crease. Make it a little bit darker. You can use whatever neutrals you feel fit to. And even some colors that aren't typically viewed as neutrals. Like I have one that's purple smoky eye that would work for an office. And I have one that's an orange smoky eye too. That would also work for this as well. If your eyes are really bloodshot or tired or it's allergies, issues, you want to take like a neutral color, like a nude color in the inner eyelid rim. And if you are brave enough, every time I do this, people flinch, but flip up your lashes and do the nude color in there too. Heart makes a fantastic one. And what a nude will do was will bring out the whites of the eyes. Where the white in that inner rim, though it will make your eye look bigger, it will also look a little bit garish if your eyes are irritated. So now we're taking our two brown colors. We're going to start off with our lighter brown color and do our lower lash line. Now if you're really tired or you have really bad dark circles or your eyes are looking a little droopy, just skip this lower lash line. It's not worth it. We're going to have that color kind of meet where the white is and then blend it together. Here you can kind of see it better on this eye. So that way there's no obvious line to. And Urban Decay has a fantastic pencil that the one side is brown and the other side is um like that nude color I was talking about. And we're going to take our darker brown. This is more of on the purple side. This is more of a eggplant color. And go over our top line. And just kind of play with it. Now if you have trouble lining your eyes, just kind of lightly take the lash line. And you know, I always like to make a little bit of a cat eye on the end. I believe it will bring out my eye shape. If your eyelids are starting to droop, take the cat eye on the end and just kind of smudge it. And that will give you a little bit of a lift to the eye. Alright, and then we're going to do a way to dress it up for evening or a holiday party. So now we're going to take a copper color. And copper is truly and honestly the most universal, flattering 
of all the metallics. Like it truly, it looks great no matter what your skin tone is, no matter what your eye color is. Everyone can wear copper. I'm just going to take that copper color highlighter crease. Now the softer the pencil, the easier it is to go do what I'm doing right now. The, the harder pencils you're going to find a little of an issue with. Next you want to take a gold color. This is a gold on the copper side, kind of keep with our theme. Just kind of darken that up a little. Go over our copper. There you go. Bob Ross once said, there is no mistakes in paintings, they're just birds. In makeup, there is no mistakes in makeup. It's, well, it's called a smoky eye or a cosmetic wipe. Or a color we will never go back to. Now I'm going to take this color, which is like a dark, dark, dark navy. And navy is a fantastic color for if you're tired, or fed up, or hungover, your choice. You can just go over the lash line on top. I'm none of those things today, but I always throw it out. Navy will always bring out the whites of your eyes, and if you're scared of navy eyeliner, do navy mascara, or trick to doing really cool color mascara. Do the navy like on this part of the lashes and then do your brown and your black on this part of your lashes and then when you blink people will see the color or you can do navy on the very very tips so when you're moving your eye around people see the color that way or you can do the dark on the tips and do the navy closer to the lash line your choice. And that is um, the office friendly smoky eye or I don't know I haven't named it yet but if you have any questions comments let me know in the comment section below. Um, this idea was a comment on another video so always leave me comments and if I can't get to it in this video I'll get to it in another one. Thank you bye bye.